Hey, it's JC. Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. If you're into knives or extreme violence, you probably like knife throwing. But if you live in the city, in an apartment or condominium like myself, you probably find it hard to set up a knife throwing area. You can't set up a backyard knife throwing area because you don't have a backyard and you're probably not willing to sacrifice a room in your place uh, to create a knife throwing area. You might have a smaller place or you might have valuables around. It's hard to create that area. So what do you do? So I've tried uh, different solutions and I think I've come up with something that's uh, quite workable for recreational knife throwing. I should emphasize this is for recreation. You want to have fun with your knives. You want to throw them, not to become a world champion or for combat knife throwing. Now, finding the target boards can be challenging. You can build an end grain target board. I looked into that. I don't have a workshop here, but if I want to get it done, it's going to be very expensive. I tried to look for end rounds, large tree trunk slabs. Uh, very hard to find and also very expensive uh, to get. I, in fact, sourced them from another country, paid for it, paid for shipping, never arrived. So I had a hard time trying to put this together. Uh, but finally, I think I've got a solution that works for me. I'm also going to talk a bit about the knife throwing set as well. So I've got a set over here, which I think is really good for recreational, kind of indoor, small, uh, close range knife throwing. And these are the cold steel micro flights, very small and lightweight knives. Now the serious knife, knife throwers probably find these way too small and light, but Again, if you're in an apartment, a confined area, and you're looking at recreational knife throwing, uh, this set is actually pretty good. So I'll talk about the knives first, and then I'll show you my setup. If you are thinking of getting into recreational knife throwing and throwing at fairly close distances, like one to three meters, uh, these would really work well. These are the cold steel micro flights. Very small knives, 8 inches long, very thin at about 2 millimeters and only 2.7 ounces. So serious throwers would probably scoff at these knives and think uh, that they are toys. Uh, and well, I would say that they're definitely very light and very small for serious and distance throwers. But if you're in a confined space like a city apartment and you're getting throwing, as I mentioned, recreational throwing at a close distance, these actually work quite well because of the size, because of the weight and also the shape. They are well balanced but the shape also allows you to get used to your finger grips and holds so that you can practice your technique. Uh, in this case, this will be a no spin throw and then you get used to sticking knives and then you can upgrade from there. So I would say for the specific purposes that I mentioned, I would actually say these are pretty good knives. Now you get one knife in a pack, uh, so you don't get three, you have to buy them individually, they're about 10 US dollars. They're made of spring steel, no specification of what that steel is, and they will get dinged up. I mean, regardless of what knives you buy, as you throw them, uh, even in wood, they're gonna get dinged up in a bit, but especially if you throw them in multiples, uh, you're bound to have the knives hit each other and that's where the chips would come in. And in time to come, I will have to kind of smoothen these out. Now, these are not sharpened uh, on the edges, although this is kind of like a dagger style uh, shape. The tip is sharp, sharp definitely enough to, I would say, pierce. If you're going to throw it at something, it definitely will pierce. So that is uh, pretty sharp, but the sides aren't that sharp unless you get them all dinged up like this. Right, so those are the knives, the Cold Steel Micro Flight. Now, let me show you the setup for the board that I use uh, that I think work well with this size of knives. Although I live in a condo, I'm lucky enough to have this backyard area over here. And this is where I've placed my knife target board. And this is my setup. It's designed so that it doesn't look too out of place uh, within this backyard. Of course, it's out of place. It's a target board for knife throwing. But uh, at least in terms of the materials that I've chosen and the way I've set it up, it at least blends with the overall interior, or in this case, exterior design. So what we have here, it's not a wood board. This is an EVA foam board. It's actually an archery board. And this idea was actually given by my wife because I had so much trouble with the wood board. She suggested having a look at archery targets because it's quite popular here. And I indeed found uh, many suppliers selling archery target boards or target butts. They included straw ones as well as these EVA ones. And I think this fits very well and would fit any indoor environment in my opinion. So EVA foam is a very high density foam. You can see 
it's all got all these stab wounds from the knives and this one is pretty thick it's 10 centimeters thick and it's one meter by one meter so this is a really large board i wanted to have a large target board you can buy a smaller size obviously depending on the space you have and in terms of the price, it's not inexpensive. I'd say this cost about 50 US dollars because of the size and the thickness. If you go for a smaller size and less thick, it is actually considerably cheaper. And I mounted it on this art easel. You can buy cheaper target stands, but I wanted a heavy duty art easel, which looked pretty good. As you can see, you can adjust it. Uh, of course, designed to hold canvas, but this locks the bottom of the target in place. And then on the top over here, you have a, another component which locks that in place. So overall, very sturdy. I can move it around. There are casters uh, and just looks uh, decent. And on the two sides, you can see I've got these lattice fences. And this is really so that uh, if you miss, you don't hit those walls and you know chip the paint off. Uh, more for friends when they come over uh, in case they miss because they aren't so I guess uh, familiar with knife throwing now I should mention that I have some artificial grass turf over here now having some soft surface for your flooring especially if you're indoors you want maybe a thick carpet uh, this is essential because for the rebounds right when you start knife throwing you can get a lot of rebounds and having a soft surface will not will protect the knife so they don't chip so easily and of course it dampens the sound and of course they don't ricochet as much uh, very often you find that they'll get stabbed into uh, this turf grass so outdoors you can use turf grass if you're indoors a thick carpet so if you are looking for EVA foam, look for Target uh, or Archery Supply Shops or you can find maybe suppliers who supply EVA foam and get them to cut it for you. I'm going to show you one more addition you can add uh, to your Target board. It is possible to buy these Archery Target sheets from Archery Supply Shops. Now this is not made of paper, this is vinyl with the Target printed on it. So it is waterproof and it is quite strong, but of course, once you start throwing your knife in, it's going to shred it. And if you throw it maybe about 500 times, this entire part is going to be shredded and you have to replace it. Now you can hold it in place in various ways. I'm actually using uh, this pin, which is purpose made for this. And that is a large plastic pin uh, to hold it to eBay. Uh, foam just like that. I used duct tape before but it really doesn't hold up but you can use really large pins if you like. Uh, these are really inexpensive and the target itself I won't say they're expensive I won't say they're cheap it's about 250 US dollars per sheet but bear in mind this is 19 centimeters by 90 centimeters for my one meter square board so it's rather large uh, the smaller ones are cheaper and you do go through them very fast if you throw a lot. So typically when I'm just practicing technique and sticking uh, and my form, I would not use the target sheet. Uh, but if I just want to have a bit of fun uh, for accuracy, I'll put it up. Or if I friends over, then I'll also put this up so that there's something to aim for. So that's a nice addition to this uh, particular board and it's great for throwing for this particular setup remember this is for recreational purposes only not designed for combat knife throwing or even competition knife throwing just to have fun in my area over here i can have a distance of up to four meters right but typically i'm practicing around the three meter mark but I hope you found this video informative and useful. If you have any thoughts and if you've got a similar setup for an apartment or even in-house for knife throwing target practice, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.